Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC, and today we have an absolutely, oh, immense package. Can you even see me? From Urban EDC Supply. Uh, and I have no idea what's in it. So like I said, this comes to me by way of Urban EDC Supply. You know them, you've heard of them. I have a referral link down in the description with some discount codes to the uh, Urban EDC Supply Nessie, which I fell in love with. Um, I do have an Urban EDC Supply knife laying around, but it, you know, where it is, I, I have no idea. So we're gonna open this up with uh, the Tactile Knife Co. Golf Wall today. Um, in Magna Cut, of course, and we're gonna see, <laughs> see what kind of absolute insanity they have in store for us. Big shout out to them, they've been great to the community, uh, very supportive of all of the creators, just all around a great bunch of gentlemen. Okay, oh good god, um, wow, this is a lot. So there's that, there's this. There's uh, that, there's this, uh, one of those, and um, one of these. Okay. Ooh, there's a packing ship list. <laughs> there's a packing list. Thank God. Okay, well, let's just start tearing into these and see, uh, let's see who's in here, okay? Let me fix my hair. Let me curl my mustache. What a lineup, dude. Holy crap. Okay, let's save the bigger boxes. MBK, I see that. Ooh, let's just start with this. Ooh, let's start with this. Let's start with this guy right here. This is an MBK, uh, and it says MBK Turbo Carbon Fiber. One of the few MBKs that I haven't handled. Um, I own two, the mini old guard and the large old guard. But I've never handled the turbo. I love the lime green stitching on their pouch. Big fan. Got a cloth in there. Got some extra hardware, it looks like. And then we have the knife. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. So this is the Monterey Bay Knives Turbo Carry Design. Now, Monterey, ba uh, Monterey Bay Knives is Sanford and Real Conoco in partnership, but this one looks like it was a third party, uh, an outside designer. It says carry design there on the blade. Beautiful carbon fiber scales. This wild, like, Humpty Dumpty backspacer here. Nice and soft. Big, gnarly pocket clip. Milled titanium. Flipper tab back here. Nice jimping on that. Running on burrings. Some interesting kind of squared off jimping on the blade spine here. Interesting knife. Let's give her a flick -a Oh, that noise. Damn, all right. Oh, and it's in that Sanmai blade steel. I believe the ZDP 189 Sanmai here. Ooh, beautiful satin finished blade. MBK maker's mark here on the clip side. What a noise. This is a liner lock. Nice jimping on the... Uh, on the lock bar there. Really nice. Action. Ooh, little double clutch action. Oh my gosh. Okay, I see why there's a double clutch. So you don't guillotine your thumb off. That makes such a great noise. Man, and it just drops. Whew. Really smooth. Really nice. Oh my god. Really doesn't weigh a ton. I mean, it's a full-size knife. Here's a uh, rock wall, again, for size comparison. Which is not a huge knife, but, uh, you know, it's a mid-sized knife. Medium-large-ish. Very cool. Nice decorative uh, pivot screw there, too, on both sides. Very nice. God, that action's gnarly. Whew! Flipper tab works great, really comfy. Just nice push button. Alright. Okay. Looks like... T8s, 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 or T6 body, T8 pivot. That's all right. Whatever. It is what it is. Uh, ergos, first off, a nice kind of 
not, I don't want to say contoured, because they're not contoured, but very nicely knocked down, rounded edges. Choke back, thumb on the jimping on the blade spine, that feels great. That feels real nice. Um, you can kind of feel the jimping on the liner lock, but it's nothing, you know, aggressive by any means. That's really nice. And then we have a nice little kind of trigger pull area to choke up. That feels great. Feels really good. Pinch grip all day. Kind of ring finger locks in behind the flipper tab there. Love it. Oh, God, the noise. Let's cut something with it and then we'll move right along. We are at, what are we at in the phone book these days? Uh, we are at retreat facilities and riding academies and rifle and pistol ranges. Very cool. So let's give it a slice Rooney here right quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I love their, like, ZDP-189 Sandmai that they do. It's One, it just looks so cool. So stinking cool. I, and, and two, I don't know, it's just something different. And, you know, and when you review and handle as many knives, excuse you, as I have, new and different is always a good thing. Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Beautiful. All day, dude. Whew. Yeah. MBK is doing the Lord's work out there in Monterey Bay, California. Eh? Sanford, how you doing? Good to see you. Very cool knife. Oh, man, that action is just crazy. I would love to see a version of this with a deployment hole. Uh, Backpack B has been doing that on his channel. I believe he has one that has a deployment hole in it. Check it out. Check out Backpack B. Good stuff. MBK, man. MBK Turbo. I'm going to put that back in here so I don't get everything mixed up. All of this does have to go back to Urban EDC Supply when I'm done. So that's... Man, I need a bigger desk. A much bigger desk. So that's one down. And then we have... Let's just let's go to this little guy. Or you know what? Let's go to this little guy. This one says... Banzelcroft Customs Mini M.E.K. Vintage Micarta Custom Marbled Carbon Fiber. Custom? First off, it's adorable. Like, look, look at this. Monsieur, there's a little, there's a little envelope? We got a little envelope? Banzelcroft Customs Certificate of Authenticity Mini M.E.K. Marbled Carbon Fiber. ID number 5574. That's adorable. Go, go back in. Thank you. Let's unsheath this little beauty here real quick. Ooh, man, that leather holds on good. <gasps> oh, no, dude. This is the one with the... <laughs> this is the one with the little utility blade. It's like a tiny custom neck knife that takes old-fashioned Stanley utility blades, man. And it's adorable. Look at the carbon fiber on that tiny little handle held on by some Torx. Or those are hex screws, actually. Uh, ergos, you know, are interesting. Let's call it, let's call it interesting. It weighs nothing but contoured carbon handles. It is just, it is just microscopic. <laughs> yeah, uh, ergos are, are fine. I mean, something like this, you're going to pull this out, pinch grip it, right? And then utility cut. That's all you're going to use this for. Uh, it's just a really pretty little box cutter. Uh, dare we cut, I mean... I guess we can cut something with it, if we need to. Can't tell you the action, but I can tell you this sh little sheath holds on insanely well. Nice looking. I believe, I bet you, where is, where is, where is, I'm wondering if you could put an ulti clip on this little thing. I'm thinking you can, based on the fact that these are little hex screws. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, something to slip in your pocket. Um, you're not exactly going to scare anybody with it, you know? But it is what it is. It's adorable, dude. Blade comes off with these three little screws here. You just unscrew those and call it a day. Very cool. Very low maintenance. Um, am I putting that in the right way? Yes. No. Uh-oh. There we go. Very nice. Adorable. I will have links and pricing for all of this down in the description 
But that is very cool. That's number two. Put it back in the baggie so I don't lose it. God help us all. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, ooh. Uh, mm, mm, uh. All right, moving right along then to this little thing, and it says share, whoop, share your Anso experience. Anso knives, Astrofix blade, sheep's foot, and Segiha milled titanium exclusive plane. I think I saw this one on Lefty's channel, this little neck knife. Oh, yeah. And I was very, very interested. Uh, first off, nice clip on the little Kydex sheath here for going on your belt loop or into your pocket. I may rem I may remove that and put an ulti clip on. We shall see. Kind of prefer the ulti clip. Let's me slip it into my pocket. But there's that Segiha pattern. Segiha? Segiha? Not sure. Don't, don't make fun of me. Uh, beautiful, dude. Look at that. Titanium handle. Shall we unsheath this little thing? Oh. God, dude, it's like a little, it's like a sexy little scalpel. Oh, I'm all about it. Feels really nice. Nice balance, nice weight in the hand. Good and thin. Jimping on the bottom, jimping on the top for a nice little pinch grip there. A little guy kind of wants to kind of flip around in your hand like that. You know what I mean? Beautiful uh, hand rub satin finish on that blade, which is in... M390 would be my guess. I'm not sure. Look at that little guy, man. It's adorable. Beautiful. The Anso of Denmark. Uh, maker's mark there. Engraved into the titanium. Little loop in the back for a lanyard. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Again, this is a little guy that you would use for like a pinch grip. You know, this is going to be your little arts and crafts utility cutter. Uh, a very high-end arts and crafts utility cutter. Uh, all things considered, just a very fancy kind of box cutter. But God, is it gorgeous. Um, this one we should definitely cut something with. Maybe? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Very much yes. All right. Let's see. Let's see what this little guy can do. Oh, yeah. Nice factory edge. I mean, again, that blade is, is dainty. Very scalpel-like. Very precise. Feels great in the hand. That, like I said, this little kind of pinch grip back here. It's where you're going to live. Man, but it cuts well. <whistles> Love that. Love that, dude. I, 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 I might have to buy this one. Just, <laughs> of all of them so far, this one intrigues me the most. It's just so cool and so adorable. And small enough that you can just kind of put it, uh, oh, put it in your pocket and, uh, hit the road with it. You know what I mean? As long as you pull that big clip off. Beautiful. Is that in there right? That doesn't feel right. There we go. That's right. Okay. Very cool, dude. This is, uh, what's this called? The Astra Fix Blade. Again, links for everything in the description. I, that might be my favorite so far. That's way too cool. Back in the bag with you, my friend. Back in the bag with you. Very cool. Okay, you go down there on the ground because I don't have room for you. Then we have this guy. Uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, JW Knives Meridian Friction Folder. There you go. Uh, tan and black. This says custom on it as well. The little Canadian leaf there. Some stickies on the inside that you, you will receive with your NAF. Little card of authenticity, handwritten no less. A nice touch. And then here, this little, uh, it's like a little Easter basket. I appreciate that. Let's put all that in there nice and neat. Look at this little guy. Ooh, look at this little guy. A chonky boy. Chonky little chode knife. Very tiny, as you can see. No clip. It is a friction folder. I'm assuming you can use this as like a chisel, flathead screwdriver, and a bottle opener here on the back, which is a nice touch to just have on your knife. Uh, blue anode Torx screws. Nice, heavy texturing on this inlay here. Very nice. 
insane jimping on that chonky blade spine. How do you... Oh, a lot of friction behind that folder, but love that blade. Damn, look at that. Look at those grind lines. Can you even, can you even look at those? Beautiful. Like I said, very chunky. This is a very thick knife. But in hand, full four finger grip if you choke up, kind of right behind the edge there. Ow, I've injured myself. Figured that was going to happen. That feels nice, man. That jimping's in intense. Again, kind of just like a really fancy, over-the-top box cutter. Oh! But a adorable little chode that I may need to get a Band-Aid because of. Wild blade. Beautiful little Warncliffe. Again, great for that kind of pinch grip. Utility cut, arts and crafts cutting, you know what I mean? Doing uh, projects with the kiddos. And this is in Magna Cut, I see. On the back of the little bottle opener deal. Can you all read that? Magna Cut. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Heavy stone washing. Oh, that's a pain to open. I gotta be honest. But very nice. Intense. Little chode. Let's cut. Let me, um. Where are we? Let me, we gotta, I gotta get something to cut with this one. More phone book paper. I'm going to run out of phone book here. Just on this one unboxing. Lordy lord. Um, stop bleeding. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Beautiful. I got to tell you, opening and closing, not exactly a quick draw kind of knife. You're just going to kind of... It might even be a two-hander at the end of the day. That's a lot of friction. I'm sure you could dial it in, play around with that uh, T8 pivot or T10 it might be. Whoa, it's a big pivot. But let's cut something with this little guy right quick. Just right quick. Oh my. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Sorry, Ray St. Clair roofing. Insane factory edge. Crazy slicey. Woo! Feels good in the hand, too, I gotta tell you. It's small, but because it's so thick... Because of all the texturing and jimping, man, you, you're just so locked in right here. This feels really nice. Impressive little thing, man. Impressive. I wish I had a bottle to open. I would try that out. Wow. Okay. The uh, JW Knives Meridian Friction Folder. A custom, apparently. Uh, delightful. A delightful little chode. I'm a big fan. Back in the bag with you, my friend. Woo, we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. Oh. Let's try to keep the uh, box intact here. Back in you go, you little cutie patoot. Back in you go. Done. Moving right along. What do we have here? This is an empty box. Uh, Ice RWL34 Satin Finish. Brian Efros Alliance Designs. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Alliance Designs Ice Light Titanium. <sighs> let's get let's get on in there. Let me in there. Oh, yeah. Love the Alliance Designs pouch. It's so cushy and soft and just overall a, a delightful plush experience. I, wanna, I just want to make a pillow. Sew a bunch of them together and turn them into a big pillow. Ooh. Okay, I have seen this one. The Ice Light. This one is sealed, so, uh, eh. Try to, uh, eh, save that. Wow, that is a nice looking knife. I gotta tell you, I love what Alliance Designs is doing. Wild pocket clip, stonewashed titanium, frame lock, these kind of little decorative lines here. Big old titanium backspacer. Not a huge knife uh, overall. I mean, a, a little thicker than the rock wall, but about the same size overall. Closed. Thumb studs. Kind of a strange placement for the thumb studs. Look at these side by side again. Look where the rock wall thumb studs are compared to this. These are way down on the uh, blade there. No jimping. No texturing. For being called the ice light, I have to tell you, it's pretty heavy. But uh, let's give her a flickeroo.
Yeah. That's gnarly. Beautiful satin finish blade. Look at those grind lines. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Solid lockup. T8 pivot, two T8s. Very minimal hardware. Two body screws here. Got the uh, maker's mark there on the show side. Nothing on the reverse. I believe... What did that say? M390? Oh, RWL34. A steel that is new to me. But one that is used in a lot of kind of higher income... Grimsmo uses a lot of RWL34. Action is... Nice. Is this running on bearings? I can't... Mom? Dad? I cannot tell. Yes, running on bearings. Action detent is crazy good. Really well dialed. Reverse flick. Feels great. Thumb flicks. All day. Nice and snappy. Makes a good noise. Nice size. Ergos choke back. Feels great. Again, no jimping. Um, not exactly a tactical hard use folder by any means. But really solid. No lock rock. No blade play. Really nice in the hand. Real soft. Gentle to the palm. Gentle to the touch. Beautiful little knife. I like this a lot. I, I really love what Alliance Designs has been doing. Uh, wow. Not a hollow grind, but a nice tall flat grind, kind of like a saber ground spear. Not a spear, but a very pointy, stabby blade shape. You know what I mean? Very much so. Really cool looking thumb studs. A nice knife, man. Really well made. I'm assuming Rayot made this being an Alliance Designs knife, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll let you know in the description below. We ought to cut something with this one, though, I gotta tell you. Um, oh, back to Ergos. You can't really choke up. But the knife's so small that this this right here feels fine. Pinch grip as well. That feels great. Reverse grip. Why not? If you want to do a little stabby stabby, go for it. All day. Why not? Phone book. Come to me. Whoop. Hey. Oh, yeah. Nice. Beautiful. Great. Great geometry. Made to cut, no doubt about that. No doubt about that. Some uh, hardy blade stock overall, but man, ground a slice. That's for damn sure. The Ice Light, the Alliance Designs, I keep forgetting the name. Uh, the Brian Efros Alliance Designs Ice Light in titanium from Urban EDC Supply. A nice little folder. This is pretty sick. I like this. I like this little guy. I like this little guy a lot. Clean. Clean as a damn whistle. Very nice. Very nice, Alliance Designs. Very nice. And finally, the biggest package of them all, or the biggest box of them all. Woo! God, my office is going to be a mess. You go down there. You go in the trash. This just says Zach Wood Mini Terror Bird Cerakote Green. Mini Terror. Sounds terrifying. Ooh, another Vixie. Uh, mini Terror Bird. Got an ulti clip kind of deal that comes in it. That's very nice. Comes in its own little prepackaged deal. Got a little sticker in there with it too. Get that out of the way. This is one of those DIY, do-it-yourself, wrap-your-own-handles kind of deal. Uh, you would use um, paracord if you, if you prefer to wrap those handles. Nice kydex sheath that comes with it um oh my oh boy oh yeah okay all right again i'm not a fixie guy i'm not a uh, go outside tactical uh, survivalist kind of guy i'm an insurance agent i like to use my knives to open packages and to take pretty pictures of for the most part this is gorgeous uh beautiful warren cliff on there sarah coated this od green it stamped D2, so I'm assuming D2 blade steel. Got the maker's mark here on this side. Very nice, intense edge. Aggressive looking little thing. Not a huge little fixie. Um, where is, here's my uh, Kermode Mini by Tactical Everyday Dad. A little bit longer than that, but this is like itsy bitsy. So, you know, that checks out. Very cool. Um, Ergos, you know, if you give it a good wrap, which I am not, 
Uh, I'm not trained for paracord wrapping. I can barely tie my shoes. <laughs> so I don't know that I'm going to take a stab at it. Uh, see what I did there? But in hand, man, if you get a good wrap going on that, wrap that puppy in some paracord, that feels great right here. Thumb out on the spine. Nice soft spine, no jimping or anything. That feels great. Pinch grip, also excellent. I mean, a great little neck knife, you know? Another one you can kind of just slap in your pocket if you're a fixed blade kind of person. And if it's legal where you live, slap that in your pocket. Put, you know, put like bright pink paracord on it so it's less scary. And you got yourself a winner, man. Man, that factory edge is gnarly. High, po like damn near mirror polished edge. Out of the box. <laughs> okay. We, we're definitely cutting something with that. Whew. What will us knife reviewers do when they discontinue the phone book, you know? It's not like we need them. Oh. Oh, yeah. Money. Cash. Friggin'. Money. All day. <laughs> All day. Yeah, this would be a great kind of, uh, you know, my wife makes stickers. Tri-State River Valley Creations. Check her out on the Instagram. This would be like the perfect sticker cutting knife. Sometimes uh, the machine misses or there's a misprint and we have to cut them out by hand. It's very dainty work. This, you kind of pencil grip it, you know what I mean? And you could just all day, all day with this thing. A beautiful little piece just begging for a good wrap. Something I'm not prepared to do. But that is it from Urban EDC Supply. One hell of an unboxing. It's been a while since I've done a kind of mega unboxing on this channel. Um, I want to say Mike Immler's knives were the last ones. Uh, most of these will get a review. The folders definitely will get a full review. Um, as well as that little uh, that little Anso. And, and uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. But these, no no full reviews here yet. Just give me time. That's a lot of knives. Uh, <laughs> Urban Easy Blight, Matt, thank you so much for sending these to me. I greatly appreciate it. Let me uh, get everything up on the table again just to give you guys uh, a breadth. By the way, all of these knives also need to be reviewed. Just to give you an idea where, where I'm at with my life. You know what I mean? One hell of a lineup. Absolutely. No doubt about it. Uh, you know? I just can't, I can't even fit it all on the damn table here. Unreal. Thank you so much. Uh, that is it for me. If, uh, if you're looking for any of these, check the links in the description. They'll be down there. Uh, but until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye now.